Alrighty, Year 12. This is another presentation on solving simultaneous literal equations. This one is presentation number 2. Now what I want to do is to solve for s and get s in terms of a only. So I want an expression s is equal to, just for instance, a squared plus 3a, all in terms of a. Now at the moment I've got in two equations, I've got a and s and h all mixed up, and in this one a and h all mixed up. What I want to do is to get all the s's in one spot and to make it equal to a. Alrighty, let's try that. So with this first one here, what I'm going to do is say, well, if a s is equal to s plus h, I'm going to take this s across to the other side. So I'll have a s minus s is equal to h. And then I'll factorize out the a. So I'll, I'll factorize out the s. So that'll be s is equal to a minus 1 is equal to h. Now if I divide both sides by a minus 1, I'll end up with h over a minus 1. Now, what I can do here is say, well, all right, I'm going to look at this second one here now. And I'll do the same thing. I'll factorize out the h. So I'll say a h, and I'll take away h from both sides. So I'll take away an h from there and an h from there. That'll mean I'll get a h minus h is equal to a. And then I'll factorize out the h. So h is equal to a minus 1. And then I'll divide on both sides by a minus 1. Now, that'll take me to h is equal to a over a minus 1. Now, I can substitute this h into this h here. So if I said, well, this is h times by 1 over, or a over 1 over a minus 1, I can substitute in place of h there a over a minus 1 times by 1 over so s is equal to a over s mi a minus 1 squared. Alrighty, so there's one that I've done that is a little bit tricky. And I've, I've determined, um, I've worked out exactly what I wanted to. I wanted to work out what s was equal to in terms of a only. So if you look at my expression, there's an a, there's an a, and that's all I need to do. Let's try another one. Okay, here's another simultaneous equations problem, a literal simultaneous equations problem. Now what I need to do is solve for s, so I need to get s on its own, and it needs to be only equal to a, so I need to get rid of all the h's. Well, what about if in place of h here I write 3a squared? After all, h is equal to 3a squared. So I could rewrite this in place of h, 3a squared, and in place of h here, 3a squared. That would mean I'd end up with 9, a to the 4, because 3 squared is 9, a squared, all squared, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 3a cubed. Now I can factorize this a little bit. I can take a 3 out of this, and a 3 out of this, and an a cubed out of that, and an a cubed out of that. 3a cubed, and that would give me 3a plus 1 in brackets. Alrighty, well I hope that helped, and that's, sorry, before I finish up, that's achieved my objective. I've got S, and the only thing on the other side is all in terms of A. Alrighty, well I hope that helped you, Tov, and I'll see you in class.